Are you serious? Are you serious? It is extremely serious. Articles breaking out everywhere, of course. Stephen Bendenoon is completely losing his mind in the uh, Czech Republic, trying to keep up with the news pouring out of Russia and the uh, Ukraine and the entire European area. But the United States citizens are now being warned to prepare for nuclear war over claims of attack warning upgraded. Matter of fact, in Montana, where we have a lot of nuclear warhead silos, uh, Saturday, and I think it's still in effect, but certainly Saturday, there's a no-fly zone over Montana. All planes were told, don't fly over Montana in case the U.S. has to launch nuclear missiles. Uh, also know this, that uh, Russia has already prepared their citizens. They did a, a drill, an emergency uh, nuclear uh, bomb shelter drill, 40 million Russians participating and every Russian knows where the nearest bomb shelter is. Every Israeli knows where the nearest bomb shelter is. Every American knows there is none. Now, DEFCON is an alert system used by U.S. military to indicate the current threat of nuclear war. The system has five states of alert. Increasing in severity, of course, would be DEFCON 5. The least Severe would be DEFCON 1. Now, what we have here, excuse me, I said it wrong. DEFCON 5 is the least. Uh, DEFCON 1 is the highest. Uh, the level was upgraded last, uh, just a couple days ago, uh, to uh, 3. Uh, and it even went to 3. And even during 9-11, it went to 2, DEFCON 2. Uh, back on 9-11 in 2001. Now, uh, DEFCON warning systems claim it has been upgraded again in a terrifying revelation. While there are currently no imminent threats to the United States, it claims the situation is fluid and could change rapidly. Matter of fact, uh, as it's, this is a very serious thing, folks. However, it is also highlighted that the dying relationship between the United States and Russia, citing concerns of an all-out warfare between these bitter rivals on a nuclear uh, scale. A, a, this would be a war of biblical proportions. If you read the book of Ezekiel 38 and 39, it tells you that there will be a war so severe it would take seven months to bury the dead and seven years to get rid of the weapons that are left laying in the field there in Armageddon, or in the field of Megiddo, if you will, in the great battles of Gog and Magog. Now, a, st a statement posted on its website reads like this, Tensions between Russia and the United States have reached levels beyond the Cold War in, recent, in the last week, and the situation between Russia and the United States is extremely fluid, at the moment, in all likelihood, as dr dynamic as at times during the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962. And at this time, DEFCON warning system feels that an increase to DEFCON 3 would be a prudent move. Uh, so we are looking and watching and keeping a close eye on what's going on here. This is not fun and games. And when Joe Biden just leisurely smirks in front of the camera and says, we're getting ready to hit Russia with a cyber attack and then just kind of has that smirk on his face. I just want to say to the vice president, what are you talking? What are you guys doing? What is, what are we doing? You're going to, you're going to announce in advance a major cyber attack on Russia. Russia don't play the same dude. This isn't checkers. Russia's playing chess. And listen to me. This ex-KGB agent, Vladimir Putin, forget the cyber attack. He'll push the green button or push something close to it. Are you serious? Can somebody do something? These guys are dangerous as a cock cannon in the White House right now. And you guys are never, the media is worried about Trump. You need to get somebody in there who will have the ability to say to the Russians, everybody calm down here. 
we obviously don't want to have a nuclear war. We do need to sit and talk. Not call Putin the slouch in the back of the classroom like Obama did. And what is Samantha Power? Are you serious? Get that woman out of the UN before we have an absolute disaster. And John F. Kerry is a joke at this point. We have really, and Hillary Clinton has left this state in a, in a, in a we're in a state of chaos. Look, don't yell at us. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at Alex Jones. Don't, don't yell at Dabu. Don't yell at Stephen Bendenoon. Don't, don't scream and holler at BP Earth Watch or, or Michael Savage or somebody else. We're not the ones calling the Russian names. We're not the ones threatening a cyber attack on them. Wow, are you serious? Are you seriously serious? Don't miss tonight's broadcast. Starts at 7 p.m. Eastern. This is getting urgent. This is getting very urgent. All right, give your life to Jesus Christ. We're living in the last days.